So now let's see how we can work around with selection anti-aliasing inside of GIMP. So over here you can see that I have this image right here and in order to um, uh, utilize selection anti-aliasing, I'm going to go around over here and select an uh, ellipse select right here. Then over here anti-aliasing is turned off as you can see right here. So first of all, I'm going to go around and make a selection and then I'm going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V right here. So once I do that, you can see that I can move this around over here on the top. And there you go. There's the selection that I have right here. So I can go around and zoom this in. And if I were to click outside, you can see that the edges right here are quite sharp. So you can see that these are the edges right here that are quite sharp right here. So if I were to go around and turn on the anti-aliasing right here, just like this, then what happens is that I don't get sharp edges. So let's just go around and select this. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V right here and drag this out over here. Click outside. And once I were to actually go around and zoom in over here, you can see the difference over here. So you can see the pixel right here. Um, as you can see, like individual pixel are quite uh, sharp right here. There is no uh, smudging or gray areas as you can see. So it's black and white right here. But once the anti-aliasing is turned on, you can see that it is kind of smooth right here. So it is more softer on the eyes as you can see right here. And that is what turning on the anti-aliasing does when you're actually using selection mode. It softens out the edges. And that is how you can utilize selection anti-aliasing inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.